Hello YouTube! Today we are dealing with moral relativism as put forth by Jesus Freak 777 in a video labeling atheists as the greatest threat to humanity. Jesus Freak states that although atheists can be moral, we have no standard for judging our morality. And in that sense, it is constantly changing. Of course, you all know what's coming next. He claims that the Christian Bible, and apparently only the Christian Bible, is an unchanging moral code and the static word of God by which all people can measure their morality. He makes the claim that all theists make, that God's morality supersedes our own human nature. This is, of course, the theological rope-a-dope. What they do is rope you in with the basic core morals, such as not killing and not stealing, the shit that no sane human being would debate, and tell you that those feelings come from God. Now that they've got you in the lasso, they add a bunch of conditional morality. They tell you not to fuck, not to say fuck, or other bad words. Not to be curious of your surroundings, and so on. Principles that go against human nature then saying that humans are naturally evil. They tell you that without the moral light of God, you'd be out doing these things, which you would, and you know you would. Now, this is where the real deviancy comes in. They make the leap that without this moral guide, you'd be out killing and stealing and some really evil shit that you really don't want to do. Religion, at least the three major dogmatic religions, have convinced people that they're sick, evil fucks who need to be saved. Praise Jesus. But is this really the case? Are people inherently evil? Now, just as a measuring stick, if you were to combine a bunch of rats together, they'd all kill each other within days. There wouldn't be a fucking rat left. Human beings combine themselves with other people all the time. And there is crime, but is it comparable? Right here in the city of Lexington, Kentucky, there is a population of 268,124 people. And in 2006, there were 15 murders. That's .000056% of this population is a killer. And that's just assuming one victim per killer. If a couple of these people were killed by the same person, that number goes down a little bit more. So rats would kill all of themselves within a couple days, whereas 268,124 people in the span of a year only offed 15 others. The point is, if people were inherently evil, you'd expect that percentage to be much higher. Jesus Freak. You say that morality supersedes our human nature, but morality does not supersede human nature. Morality is our human nature. I've said this in a couple other videos, but it bears repeating. Human beings are a social species. For our size, we're not very strong, and we're not very fast. But as a team, we are very strong. 
True morals, those feelings to do right by your fellow man, are inherent. The people who could work together were able to survive, while those who were indifferent did not. Moral relativism is bullshit, because those morals never change. The moral changes over the last hundred years you're thinking of, promiscuity, naughty language, titties on Super Bowl Sunday, aren't morals at all. They're societal norms. They're a construct of social engineering an attempt to get people to deny their nature so you can control their thoughts and behavior. In a free society, it's only natural for norms to change away from the arcane and oppressive towards natural human desire. In the end, that's what really bothers you the most, isn't it? The fact that someone would have the audacity to be themselves.